lot of students uh, suraj have this apprehension that if our previous role is not that of a business analyst will any company hire us as a business analyst you know what do you have to say Hello everyone. Welcome to our Super Achievers series. In our Super Achievers series, we have Suraj today with us and uh, we will have a small interview with Suraj and he will tell you how he transitioned into a business analyst role. So welcome Suraj. Welcome to us. Yeah, thank you. Tell me sir, what was your previous role? I'm actually I was previously working as a bank manager. Mm -hmm. I was into a public sector bank. I was into more into operational kind of job where I was in branch and I was dealing with the uh, advances I was dealing with deposits and all those was I was doing I was doing the job for last 10 years 10 years in banking yeah. mm, that's good solid banking experience yeah and after 10 years I just decided to shift my job so I just left the job I was trying to enter in the IT sector actually mm -hmm. and that's it that I might join the course so <laughs> and now there's a big challenges you are facing when you were in the banking industry due to which you decided to move it's actually it was a very stressful job actually but again it was it was a very we had to relocate to various places often okay okay transfers was very often okay job transfers transfers oh. so i just decided to yeah so that was the main uh, yeah that, that was the main reason so i could not carry my family or yeah you would like yeah. You would like to always like to settle in one location. Everybody would like to do that, right? Yeah, uh, it's because because uh, I don't want to relocate very often. Ah, uh, yeah. It's fine that I can go to anywhere, but relocating often it's very difficult. In terms of career growth, uh, were there enough opportunities over there? In which sector? In uh, in your previous role? Yeah, yeah. Of course, there is because if we are going to uh, we are going for promotions, we will be reaching till the level of the CEO, executive director, and it depends on the person and their interest. Did you get enough opportunities? Yeah, yeah, I got. Okay. Promotions also. So, what inspired you to become a business analyst? Try a different role. No, actually, I just wanted to search for an opportunity in IT industry, oh, somewhat okay. related to banking. So, the blend I have in my my ex previous experience, I found that as a business analyst, the role will be more apt for me. Because then you can utilize your banking yeah, domain knowledge, right? Can utilize the previous knowledge and previous experience that I have, and that's what I decided to join. Fears in your mind that uh, this might be. a technical role programming knowledge will be required or something like that no actually i had a bit of idea about what a business analyst does okay i had the idea what a business analyst does and so i, I was sure that i was not going into a technical role it is a kind of functional role that i would be handling my future assignments okay lot of students uh, suraj have this apprehension that if our previous role is not that of a business analyst will any company hire us as a business analyst you know what do you have to say do companies give opportunities to people who have no experience of business analyst yeah companies do give opportunities because companies want the people who have worked in the real real atmosphere of what the products they are making so they require the a kind of consultancy like service from this people who are working in the actually if, suppose if you are working in a fair companies into a financial sector of course the people who worked in that sector will be an added advantage to the products that right. they are developing mm -hmm. yeah it's there and so they required a hardcore banking operations knowledge huh? yeah they need a functional person who knows what is banking and what is being happening in the, in the banking industry okay okay so suraj you were a part of our diamond certification in business yeah. analysis yeah. tell me how this course has transformed you into a business analyst that you are today no, actually when i when i left my job i i just what was in mind was i just want to be i want to enter into it industry or some functional work but i don't know i didn't know how to do it and what the work was going on actually and i know it was kind of a consult a kind of a functional roles we will be dealing but what we will be doing that i was not aware yeah. and we were going into the all 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 functions a business analyst was will be doing in the it firm and it was a very good experience for me so you learned step by step what yes, i yeah yeah sure sure Sure. Mm. Even recently in my new company also, uh, even though we are not into the, it's not a beginning stage. We are into the last stage of the development of the product. But what I have learned from your classes has been very beneficial for me in making my day-to-day -day reports and daily functioning. So, what are the different activities that you performed in the capstone project? 
that you worked on and we were working into a financial one investment banking project so the bank was facing one issue and they have reached us to for a solution actually mm-hmm. and we, we were a group of people and we we, we, we had some client interactions and we brainstormed the entire scenario and we came out with a solution and and we developed a prototype of the solution it means uh, we developed a software which means it will be a solution to the problem the bank was facing okay and did you get a good overview of the scrum world how things are done in the scrum yeah world? yeah 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 Yeah, sure. Uh, I was not. I was just knowing the world about agile is, but I came to did many scrum meetings, backlog refinements, all those things we were doing there. That's good. So, Suraj, you are also an IAB certified business analyst. Yeah. Tell yeah. me, while preparing for your ECB certification, how easy or difficult you think a person from non IT would uh, would experience when they are preparing for an IAB certification? IAB certification, in my experience, is like we require. correct teacher to tell us how to prepare for the examinations and what are the important things and i was very happy that you were providing all those details to me and the main thing in uh, getting the exam cleared is have a plan and we have to put our time into it and we have to learn again and again the concepts mm-hmm. and i feel it is easy to crack the exam after all these things it, it will be easy for a even from a person from the non business analyst background it will be easy okay. non technical background so you say a person who is absolutely from a non it who has no correlation from it yeah, case exam yeah so from it right yeah I think it took 30 days for me to clear the examination uh, 30 days and you were prepared for the exam that's really yeah. nice actually awesome. actually one plan was we had made one plan and i was focusing on the each chapters and revising again and again yeah I remember you were uh, regular in your study uh, in the study group discussions that we yeah. uh, discussed Yeah actually course. those Monday Monday sessions were yeah. also very really helpful because a lot of questions used to come in that sessions and it was also very helpful and I think we had few questions from those sessions also yeah, almost papers. almost the questions were similar to what you have that exams okay So right now you are working as a business analyst with a fintech company right uh, actually the role is not just a business analyst it has a blend of project manager also and a sma also oh wow that's really nice yeah actually yeah. it's a kind of a role name is of a banking advisor but i have to do the business analyst jobs as well as it's a kind of it's a startup company and it's a senior senior level post oh that's really kind of nice i'm so happy for you with 10 years of experience in banking uh, this is one thing that i told you right uh, you should never go for a junior business analyst role you know mm-hmm. companies easily absorb you in a senior level role if they see that value in you you know if you are yeah. able to demonstrate business analysis knowledge plus your previous domain knowledge uh, many of the fintech companies will easily hire you in senior level roles yeah. so i'm really glad this happened to you so uh, what are your future plans suraj Ma'am, my future plans like I will be staying in this company because it's a growing company and it's a it's a good atmosphere in the company and there's a lot of learning learning opportunities. And I'm directly reporting to the CEO of the company. Wow. And he's also very supportive. So I feel I will be staying in the company and I will be I will become the part of the company on its growth. Yeah. That's what I'm. I'm so I'm happy. For. So happy for you. So congratulations Suraj congratulations on your Thank new you. job you. and also your IBA certification uh, may you grow faster in your career and uh, reach new heights Thank you man thank you for your classes thank you for your guidance it was very helpful for me to <laughs> crack the job also yeah it was the first interview I, I I had sat for only one interview I got that job <laughs> No nah, okay <laughs> so happy so, Yeah thank you so much thank you Thank you man thank you bye bye thank you